to this week's podcast, Tesla Coils. Man, I really want to listen to my iPod, but I can't find an outlet. Hey, Ziggy. Yo. Yeah. Do you know a way to power this iPod? I can't find an outlet to plug it in. You know, I was wondering, the other day going through the uh, demo room, I found a Tesla coil. Why plug it in when we can power it wirelessly? That sounds great. Let's go. So here's the Tesla coil. This is really cool. How's it work? Let me show you. So, how a Tesla coil works is it takes your basic 120 volts from your wall socket, passes it through a circuit that has a spark gap, a primary solenoid, and a capacitor. Now, as the rapidly changing current passes through the solenoid, it induces a current in the secondary solenoid. So let me get this straight. The changing current creates a magnetic field around it, right? Yes. And that changing magnetic field induces an electric current here in the secondary coil. Correct. Now, the electric current in the secondary coil is proportional to the number of turns in the secondary coil and the primary coil. Mm -hmm. This produces a very large electric potential up top, somewhere around 100,000 volts. That's a lot of volts! It's over 9,000! What 9,000?! Now, this very large uh, potential will discharge electrons into the atmosphere, causing the air to be superheated into a plasma, which is what you see as lightning. That's shocking! Let's try it out! And now, let me show you how to light up a fluorescent tube wirelessly. Question. Why, why did the chicken cross the road? His objects in motion stay in motion. <laughs> <laughs>